Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this tutorial, we will see how to convert Java object to JSON format and uh, vice versa. We will see how if we, if we have JSON object or JSON data, then how you will convert it into Java object. So let's get started. So first we will create one class and I'll say JSON test and then we have here we can use object mapper so I'll write here object mapper mapper equal to new object mapper and then so as of now if you will see we don't have any class with object mapper that means we need to add here um, jar file so we'll write here object mapper and then maven now we will get the first link here you can see we have to download jackson data bind so we'll open this one and then we'll download it so we will go on the first version and click on the bundle so if you are using maven then you can simply copy it in your maven pom file and then everything will be done but if you are using pure code java then in that case you have to download the jar file so we can click on bundle and it will download jackson data bind now if you will go down you can see compiler compile dependency that means these two jar file also we need to download so first one is jackson annotation and then jackson core so let's go here and the download the same version bundle and similarly we can download this one 2.13.1 click bundle so these three jar files i have downloaded let's go to the download folder and then copy all these three jar files and open our project select this project right click and paste so all three jackson files i mean jar files i have copied here right click go to the build path and then click on add to build path ideally i should create here one folder lib and then inside it i should put this but this is just for the demo purpose now if i will move my cursor you can see it is coming data bind so we have this mapper using this mapper we can convert our java object to json format so for that let's create one class and a pojo class so let's say i can say class employee in this class employee i have a pojo class private int imp id and then private string uh, name so what we need to do we can generate here getter setter right click and then click on generate getter setter for this and also we can add here one pojo class i mean one constructor so right click and go to source and generate constructor using fields select it and then we will click on generate so in this pojo class we have two fields and then we have one constructor parameterized constructor and then getter and setter so we can use this object and let's say i'll write here employee e1 equal to new employee and then i will pass here employee id is 100 employee name is chandan kumar so this is very simple example and using this what we will do we can um, convert it into json string so suppose so for that we'll have to use mapper dot write as write value as a string yeah you can see write value as a string and here we can pass the even object this even object is basically our employee object and it will return okay so we have to add this through exception and then we'll see here that it is returning a string format so i'll simply say a string 
json json data so this will convert our object into json data let's simply print it and we'll see if we have the json object or not so yes you can see now it is showing in the format of json if you keep our uh, if you will keep this one as you know array for example let's say if i will create array list equal to new array list and let's make this array list for con let's import it and let's make this array list for employee so if you will add here list dot add e1 and similarly let's create one more object of the employee i'll say e2 and then in this e2 i am adding 101 and this one will be let's say rakesh kumar so we have uh, two objects added in this list and then i'll do list instead of passing single object i am now passing it into this list so let's make it this way and then now i will try to run it and then you can see we are getting two objects here one is employee 100 and then employee id 101 what we can do we can copy it and we'll go here and write json formatter and we'll open the first link just to see our json is valid or not and we can format this one so delete it and then we can paste it so validate will validate this is valid json and then we can see output in this way so we have two objects added you have if you have any object you can just pass it here it will this write value as a string will convert it into json format now similarly if you have this object and you want to directly put this data in one of the json file then what you can do you have a method mapper dot uh, write value and then you can use this file so here we can say new file and uh, inside it you can pass a directory so let's say i'll pass c and then here i'll say data dot json this is our file and then we'll pass it here list whatever data we wanted to pass and then import it so and then we'll have to add the throw declaration io exception so this line will write your list directly to the file let's try and see we'll run it okay so we get some error here so it is saying uh, access denied perfect so what we can do we'll have to uh, create one folder maybe and then in that folder we can write so let's say if i in desktop i'll create one folder data and then i'll refer this folder here from here so copy it and then replace it here c users and then desktop data inside data we will have this file let's run it again yes now we are not getting any error that means that should be there so you can see inside this data folder we have this json if i will right click and then open with uh, any particular notepad let's say so we can see the data directly written into the json file so this is how you can write your object java object to json format now we have other way is let's say if you get your object if you if you are getting json object or json data how you will convert it into java right so for that we have so let me write here i'll say uh, json to java right this is java to json 
and then what we can do we can write here to json to java so we have to create object mapper which is already we have so i'll just copy paste the same thing and we'll create new object on that so let's say i'll say mapper one and then you will you need some json data so for example let's say i'll say a string json equal to and i'll copy the same here copy and paste it here yeah so i have this json data and what we will do we'll convert it into object so what we have to do mapper one dot read so we have here read value and inside read value you have to pass this json this this json string that you have and then we'll have to pass here the object where we want to map it so for example i'll say here we want to map it in array list dot class so i have given here array list dot class and then it will return our data in the form of array list of the object so we can see if it is able to map this so i'll say array list 2 so and after that we can simply print it just to show whether we are getting the data or not so for now i'll just do list 2 dot size and then we'll see if it is giving any particular size or not so let's run it and see the output so now we are getting 2 that means we have the value here so what we can do we can add a list 2 dot for each and here we have employee object so i'll write obj or e and then let's uh, print it sys out e dot get employee id plus a space and then i'll say e dot get employee name and then we'll see if it is working or not all right so we have something linked hash map cannot be cast to employee okay so it is returning in the form of hash unnamed module and so list2 dot for each obj so we have this value and if i will run now you can see it is giving us the record that we are looking for but if i want to convert it purely into object so directly adding array list will not work maybe you can write new type reference and in this new type reference new type reference let's add here list of employee so we need this list of employee here and then we'll say anonyms implementation for this let's import type reference and then import list and after that we have to add this as a return type of this one this list save it and then we can run it all right so we have some error cannot construct instance this no cons creator no default constructor okay right so what we can do we can add here in our pojo class one default constructor as well so let's add public employee and then we will try this again yeah so now we are getting the object so let's add here e dot get employee id plus e dot get plus e dot get employee name 
save it and then we can run it again yes so we can see it is parsing our json object our json string into java object so we have all the data available in this list so this way we can parse any data and then we will get our object what we have to do is we can use type reference and then we'll pass list of object it will return that so if we have only object in that case we can simply say even we don't need the type reference you will simply pass class employee dot class and it will parse it so hope hope you like this and you learn something from it thank you so much for watching this video